up, YouTube? Ooh. It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. I'm so sorry for that intro. I know a lot of you guys clicked off of the video for that, but for the ones that stuck around, thank you. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Let's talk about all of my tanks, all of my fish, all of my pets. I'm going to show you guys every little detail with all of my tanks. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and get started with the 20-gallon tank that I just set up. If you guys missed me setting up this tank, there will be a card up here. You guys can click here, and it'll take you to the video where I set up this tank. It's an awesome video. You guys should definitely check it out and give it thumbs up. So this tank is just really simple. There's a little bit of black sand in there. Two rocks with some java fern and some anubias. The stocking in this tank is some wild black stripe top minnows. Some rosy red minnows. I also have three hebrosis corridoras. I also have three clown loaches. I also have some ghost shrimp in here. And I do have a long fin pleco. I'll have a video up here as well for when I got my long fin pleco and my Cori Hebrosis. You guys should check out that video. I love this tank. I like the background as well. It's a blue and yellow background. It's very simple the way it's set up. There's a hang on the back filter here uh, from Aqua Clear. If you guys want the same filter that I use for my tanks, you can go in the description down below. There will be a link for this filter. I highly recommend these hang on the back filters. I use them for all of my tanks. And then down here, here is also a heater and a sponge filter. I also use the 24-7 Phoenix Planet LED light fixture for this tank. This tank is awesome. I can change the light to a lot of different colors. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So right now the light is at max setting which means it makes it as bright as possible. Now if I want red light all I have to do is press the R button that's highlighted in red. Press the button, turns the light red. Now, it's only going to give you three colors on here, which is red, green, and blue. Those aren't the only three colors that you can use. You can also go with many other different color combinations. Right now, I have it on green, and there's these little arrows for each color. If you press up on the color that you're pressing on, it'll add that color to the current light that you're using. So right now, it's turning into a turquoise LED light because I went with green and I started adding blue to it. So when you mix blue and green together, you start to get turquoise. Another color that I like personally is uh, purple. And another one that I like is orange. Orange is my favorite color for these light fixtures. If you want the same light fixture, you can also get them down below, down in the description. All right guys, now that you know what's in this 20 gallon tank, let's go ahead and feed these guys. I'm also gonna show you guys what I feed them. All right guys, for this tank, there's a mixture of of bottom feeders and middle swimmers so for that I will be feeding my fish the bug bites formula of the bottom feeder formula and the sickly formula I will be using both of these now I don't have to put too much food in there because these fish are really small so they don't eat too much but let's go ahead and throw some food in there and see what they do Alright guys, so we are at our next 20 gallon tank. I have another 20 gallon tank. This is another 20 gallon tank that I started stocking at first with just some rosy red minnows. And then when I turned my bathtub into a indoor pond, I started getting some goldfish. And when I took down that pond, I went ahead and moved the two goldfish in here, which is the calico and the white one that you see here. And then I eventually got another one that's brown. I'm gonna keep these guys until they get a little bigger and then I might just sell them or, you know, trade them in for something. I haven't had goldfish since I was a little kid. So I used to keep a lot of goldfish and for the most part they would they would stay alive but they would end up dying because I would, I couldn't afford big tanks and I didn't have the space to have a big tank for them but now that I have the space I'm glad that I can relive a part of my childhood by keeping some goldfish because I remember when I was a kid every time my parents took me to Walmart and we went by the fish section I would always see goldfish there and I would always have to go and take a look these guys are really cute I'm in love with these guys I love these fish I take 
care of them really well and I'm always on top of their care. So this is just going to be a bare bottom tank for right now running on a sponge filter, hanging on the back filter and a air stone. Uh, for right now I don't have any future plans for this tank. I'm just going to keep these three goldfish and continue to put feeder rosy red minnows in here for my other fish. All that being said, I'm going to show you guys what I feed these goldfish. Now I already showed you guys what the bug bites look like, uh, but I'm showing you guys what the krill looks like. Oops, I just dropped one on the floor. Five second roll. Okay, it's still good. Alright, so this is what krill looks like, and I'm actually going to break uh, these two into little pieces so they're able to eat, eat them a lot better because a lot of fish can't really eat these whole unless they're really big fish. But I'm going to break these into pieces and then I'll give it to them. These are dead. Uh, they're frozen, dead. Krill is one of the best things you can feed your fish. Oh, and kids, always make sure to wash your hands before handling food for your fish. Obviously, don't wash with soap. Just wash with water. Your little fishies don't want your germs. Alright guys, next tank that we have here is a 125 gallon tank. This is my predator tank. I call it the predator tank because we have some straight up savage predator fish in this aquarium. We got the baby tarpon here. We got the baby peacock. We also have this wild caught catfish. We also have a few native panfish that are in here. This tank, I set it up about a year ago. If you guys want to know how I set up this tank and how much it costs for me to set up this tank, you can click right here to that video. So that's the stocking of this tank. This tank is really basic as well. I have a multicolored substrate gravel in this aquarium. I have a big centerpiece with driftwood and some rocks covered with moss. I got a sponge filter and I have a Hydor canister filter. So this morning I actually went out and I got some bait fish for my tarpon. I didn't actually go to PetSmart and spend a crap ton of money on food for these guys. I actually caught food for my fish. That's how much I love these guys. If you got if you're going to be a master like me in this hobby, you got to put all your care and attention into the fish. Anyways, I'm blabbering too much. Let's go ahead and feed them. They're starving. I've been waiting to feed them for the video. Let's do it. All right guys, so this is what I'll be feeding my peacock and my tarpon. These are live. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna remove the spikes like I did last time. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them in their hole. Okay, so they missed that time. Oh, nope, he got them. My tarpon is a beast, guys. He is such a beast. Now he's spazzing out <laughs> because of all those spikes on that fish. That's why I removed the spikes so he doesn't freak out like that. Okay, you know what? Let, I'm going to remove the spikes on the next one with some scissors. I'm not going to show you guys, but... And I want to see how different the feeding is for him when the spikes are removed. Because I'm pretty sure it's, it'll be a lot smoother for him. For him to chew and swallow these fish without the spikes. Alright, this one's pretty big. Let's see if he'll eat it. Yup. Wow. Wow, buddy. I did not think you were gonna eat that. Whoa. That was a big fish. Alright, let's see if the peacock will eat. Come on, peacock. Come on, pee. Come on, pee. Come on, pee pee. You're not gonna go for that. You're such a wuss. Oh, are you gonna go for that? Oh, I guess nobody's gonna go for that one. Oh, ho, ho, dude, you destroyed that thing. Nice. All right, let's get some more. These guys can eat a whole lot more. This one's a little bit smaller. You won't go for that, you little wuss. <laughs> All right, I think I think they might be full because I just threw that one in there and he didn't go for it. So it looks like they're full. Those fish were pretty big that I gave them. When they eat two or three fish, they'll get full and then they won't be hungry until like another hour or so. The catfish doesn't usually go for live food. He likes bug bites, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and throw in.
All right, guys, this is my 75 gallon tank. It is a community tank. I have 10 quarry cats in this tank. I have three to four different species of quarry cats in here. I also have five angelfish in here. I used to have more, but I gave away a lot of my angelfish and a few of them did pass away on me. The angelfish were starting to get too aggressive. Now that it's only down to five in this 75 gallon tank, they are doing a lot better. Before, I think it was just too crowded for them. And there was also a pair that was laying eggs in there constantly and they would fight and kill or try to kill all the other angels they would fight and just kill each other and I just got tired of it and I just I couldn't because no matter what I did they wouldn't stop killing each other um, and I didn't have another big tank to put them in so in here I just have some rosy red minnows I have a few plants in here I have uh, some java fern, some crypts, some anubias, I have some amazon swords in here. Uh, I have a sponge filter, a hang on the back filter, and I also have a canister filter right here. I recently just changed the scape on this side. There is now sand and rocks on this side so the quarry cats, if they want to lay on some sand, they can go over here, but they're always over here on the substrate, on the rough substrate over here. This tank, I recently also just painted the background white. I really liked how it came out. I also had an idea that I wanted to do for this tank. I was going to ask you guys for some feedback, but I don't want to give away my idea. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do the video. I don't know when it's going to be out, but I think it's going to be a really cool video for this tank. I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys. All I feed them is bug bites, and every now and then I'll feed them some krill, so that's what I'm going to feed them right now. Aw, look at these two lovebirds. Now, I don't think that's how they mate. I'm not sure, but what's the reason for this? Like, why why are you two just laying on top of each other like that? Like, what's the deal? What's going on? Hmm. Oh, okay. You guys are just comfortable with each other like that. I feel you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright guys, this is my 29 gallon tank. I have my bait fish in here and I also have my largemouth bass. Alright, so the reason why I have this guy in here is because the peacock bass kept messing with him. So I felt like it'd be better if I put him in here for a few weeks and really focus on him individually in this tank because I feel like if I try to feed him in the 125 gallon tank, the peacock would constantly pick on him and make sure that he doesn't eat. So, but he's been doing good in here. He's been eating bluegills and rosy red minnows left and right and pretty soon he's going to be big enough to be eating all these guys right here in this tank but let's go ahead and feed them this guy is a beast I mean look at this guy look at this guy they're all chasing him trying to eat that baby bluegill oh my god and these guys are cannibals too they're eating their own wow dude my bluegill is a savage that my bass not my bluegill that bluegill that I just gave him was like half his size like oh my god and he was able to just swallow that guy I'm pretty sure he's good now that's all he really needs is one or two and, and then he's out. He's good for like a good six hours or so. Look at that little bulge in his stomach. Do you guys see that? Such a fat little monkey. Alright guys, so I caught a bunch of bait fish today this morning. I'm going to go ahead and just throw them in here. I'm also going to give these guys a leftover krill. These guys go crazy for krill. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today. My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and peace out guys.